Yo, what is up guys? It is obviously your boy Kimbo here and we have an epic package unboxing. So we've got a package here. So yeah, man, this should be pretty dang sick. It's actually from Russia. Like this is in Russian. I've never gotten anything from like Russia before, which is really cool, dude. It's just like baffling that like, you get things from like all over the world. But yeah, it's time to open this bad boy. As soon as I can find my freaking scissors, well, if not, you know what? Got this. <laughs> this is from a set that I got a Beyblade set. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is just go at it. There we go. Cool. <laughs> now I'm just gonna rip it. Go screw it. Why the heck not? All right, man. I'm, I love how I'm just like fully reptaring the crap out of this box, just destroying it. But it's fine. It's whatever. Let's see, what we got we got a purple bag in here. Hmm. Okay. Well. I wonder if everything's in here. Yeah, it looks like whatever's in here is in this bag. Okay. There's a couple bags. All right, well, take out the purple bag, and then there's another bag. And then underneath that bag, there's a box. Okay, well, let's see what we got in it. Yo, oh, snap, look at it, man. Bakugan. So, yeah, we got some Bakugan stuff here, you guys. So, I know I'm, like, a big fan of... Bakugan and such um just to explain anybody who doesn't know like Bakugan is basically a series where these like marbles like they're small little plastic marbles and they open up into creatures and they try to save the world obviously because there's like the world of Astroia that they try to save in the first season and stuff it's like the Astroia was coming together and then they had to stop it by like taking down Naga who had control of the infinity core and such yada yada blah 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 um, and then obviously Vestroya with the whole Spectra, Helios, uh, Vexos storyline, and then Gundalian invaders with like Gundalia and Nithia being at war, and then Mectanium Surge where Magmel and Razenoi tried to go and destroy everybody and everything. I just tried to sum up Bakugan in the quickest amount of time that I possibly could, but yeah, so it's a really, really awesome series, and I've been a big fan of it. I'm not just jumping on because like it's coming back next year. Um, I've been a big fan. I was a big fan of like the it the first time it was around and i'm so excited for the reboot but yeah man all right so we got a few things here just wanted to explain all of that so we got some bakugan stuff in here so first of all let's see what is inside of this um yo it's the play mat oh my gosh so it's the really really old school play mat so it's the one that actually opens up and it opens into like a really really big mat like this is yeah this is pretty huge um yeah, but it shows all of the different attributes, like, uh, Pyrus, Chaos, uh, Aquas, Darkest, which is my favorite, Subterra, and Ventus, but, yeah, um, I love Pyrus, too, like, I'm a Pyrus brawler as well, but, like, honestly, Darkest, Darkest for life, dude, I freaking love Darkest, but that's the very first thing, that's a huge, huge freaking mat, dude, like, that's that original play mat, so now we got a few things in here, um, oh, okay, these are the walls, actually, for it. So, yeah, let's see here. We got this. Yeah, these are all the walls so the Bakugan can ramp off of them and such. But, yeah, dude, and then they have the slots for each of the Bakugan, which is just so, so cool, man. I can't, I can't even, like, this is just so awesome. I never got this mat. I've seen pictures of it, but I've never gotten this actual, like, first generation version of the mat. So, yeah, now it's time to open this bad boy up. All right. And we've got a lot of Bakugan in here, dude. And there's a Beyblade launcher. Yo, there might be Beyblade stuff in here, too. Oh, my lord. All right, well, I guess I'll get into the Beyblade stuff after right now. Just focusing on the Bakugan stuff. But, yeah, look at this, dude. This is like a metal... This is a metal fusion launcher, hands down, with the angle compass and such. It's got the angle compass on it. Then just got to put the ripcord in there. Yeah, dude. Okay, so this is like a left launcher setup. That's actually pretty cool. Put it in that way. Um... Well, the ripcord's being a pain right now. There we go. But yeah, that's actually a cool ripcord setup, man. I like that. That's awesome. All right, man. Well, now it's time to get into the Bakugan. So we got some Bakugan here, dude. A Bakugan lot. And I'm so, so excited. I'm so excited about having these Bakugan. But yeah, let's see here. Um, This is, what is this? It looks like a letter or something. I, I don't know. Is this a drawing? Let's see. Um, yeah, dude, this looks like a drawing, legit, whoa, dude, look at that, wow, just the quality of it, the hands down, that was like a really small sharpie that was used for this, I'm an artist too, anybody who doesn't know, but yeah, a face stay night saber, just 
Dude, that looks so good. The detail in her face and just her armor and everything. And the shadow just looks so good, man. Big props. Really, really big props. And the tripod almost fell and the phone stopped, but it's all good. All right, there's a letter. Let's see here. I'm just going to read this real quick. Uh, hi, Kim. Thank you for being an open person and taking care of my collection. In this parcel, besides uh, Bakugan and Beige, you can find some Beyblade cards um, that were um, in a magazine, I think, in a magazine in my country. Um, yeah, about Beyblades and also a card game. So I decided to send you the, the rarest ones. Um, I have in the box, oh, I have the box with... Um, from them in which you can find Bakugan, Gate, and Spell Cards. However, I wanted to send you something um, national, I think, but unfortunately I can't send the national oh, the national cuisine by the past delivery, so I send you a fish-shaped clay whistle made by a local craftsman. You could play on it. That's so cool, dude! I would like to keep in touch with you as a pen pal friend if possible. Oh my god, dude! What? I know that you're busy with work and, like, your YouTube channel, but having a chat once a month would be great. Looking forward to hearing from you, best witches, Nick. Um, P.S. Sorry for my handwriting and my English. There are some mistakes, but I tried my best. Yo, it's all good. Considering he's, like, Russian. He's from Russia. And, like, he had this good of English, you know, that it's hard being, uh, bilingual, you know? But, yeah, anyways, uh, sorry for, like, just stalling a little bit. I just wanted to, like, read that. And that's so cool, dude. I got a pen pal. <laughs> this thing's from Russia. Like, if you didn't know this pack's from Russia, I mentioned it at the beginning of the video. But, yeah, I think I kind of have a pen pal now. But, yeah, dude, now it's time to get into some box. Bakugan, and I know there's some really rare Bakugan in here. Some that I don't even have, but yeah, dude, look at this. All right, so we're gonna be unwrapping like a few Bakugan, but it's all good. Let's see. Um, they're all in bubble wrap, so let's see what we got. Um, is that an Altair? Yo, I think it is an Altair. All right, well, I gotta get a gate card. It's time, guys. All right, managed to get a gate card, so here we go. Um, it looks like an Altair, I think. Or no, okay, it's wired. But still, this is a translucent wired, dude. Translucent blue. I haven't seen one like this. And it's definitely aqua. It looks so cool, dude, in such good condition. Hello. All right. It's just going to be like a full-out surprise, like what I'm getting in here. So, let's see, man. Just got to open up all of the plastic, uh, the bubble wrap stuff. And yeah. So, this is like one of the shadow versions, like one of the metallic ones. And it is, wow, okay. It's Darkest. Um, I can't remember the name of it. I think it's Season 2. But yeah, I might not remember all the names of the Bakugan. Um, forgive me if I don't. But yeah, this is definitely from Season 2. 730 Gs, too. Dang, man. That's, some, that's quite a bit of power. <laughs> all right. Let's see here. What do we have next? Like, no matter what, they're so colorful, dude. Like, I wonder if they just switched it, depending on, like, the different areas from around the world. And it's going to be a pain to, like, get all of these unwrapped. You know what? I might just unwrap them all. All right, guys. So, I saved a lot of time and just, like, unwrapped all of them. So, yeah, obviously the ones that we've seen before. Uh, we got Wired here, which is from Season 2. Um, can't remember the name of this one, like, right away. But it's also from Season 2. Like I said, if I don't know the name, I at least know the season. Like, hands down, I know the season. I can just identify just from the, the style of the Bakugan. All right. So, yeah, now it's time to just get into these Bakugan, dude. Let's see. I feel like there's, like, some pretty rare stuff in here. All right. So... Yo, Darkest, Darkest Strike Flyer. All right, this is from Season 3. This thing looks so sick. I didn't have a Darkest one. This one looks so cool, dude. Oh, I, I just love Gundalian Invaders Bakugan. I love the quality of them. All right, I guess next up, we'll go with this bad boy. It's clear. It's a translucent. Yo, it's a clear translucent Cordum. That's crazy, dude. The clear Bakugan don't have, like, attributes, so it's basically, like, you can choose whatever um, attribute on the gate card and just get the power bonus from that. So in this case, you can choose Ventus and get like 100, you know. I know that's one of the rules for the clear Bakugan. But yeah, dude, Season 3, um, Strike Fire, also Season 3. Uh, let's see here. This is, uh, is this Neo Dragonoid or this Ultra Dragonoid? I think this is like Ultra. Wait, did the wings stick out? Yeah, this is Ultra Dragonoid, dude. That's crazy. Look at the detail in this thing, man. Like, it looks like an evolution of a Neo Dragonoid, but yeah, 770 Gs, pretty strong. Um, and Pyrus, and plus it's like rosy, it's like pinkish, which looks really cool, dude. Like, I haven't seen that before. All right, next up we have, uh, yo, Freezer! Dang, dude, and like the head pushes down too. This is a Darkest Freezer, except it's like the, I can't remember the exact term for it, but it's the black and silver, like it's the metallic, uh, 
you know, code that they have for Bakugan. They did this for, like, a few of them. I can't remember the name of the exact wave, but, yeah. Um, that's season one. That's really awesome, dude. Freezer. All right, next up we have, uh, this Bakugan, which... Oh, what the heck? I, I don't know the name of this one. I've got this one. But, yo, look at the head. The head shoots out. I didn't get one that has, like, the head like this. It has, like, that quagmire giggity giggity head or something. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I, I'm stupid. But, yeah. Pretty sure this is from season two. But, yeah, dude, there's a claw open up. Um, I believe so. This is, I think, one of the Bakugan that they had on Vestroya when the Vexos took over. But, yeah, dude, it looks so cool. Like, just the attention to detail, too. Alright, so this is uh, Darkest Arnot. This is uh, Fabia, like, Princess Fabia from Nithia. Her Bakugan, except it was in Chaos in the show. But that's season three. Then we have, um, if you're my dog, sorry. Um, Ramdahl. Yo, Pyrus Ramdahl. It's the bike-looking one. And how strong is it? Ten wow, 1020 Gs, dude. That's crazy power. They got crazy high in G power, like, at the end of the series. All right, I guess next up uh, we'll go with this bad boy. What? What is it? Yo, it's dual hydrogen. Wait a minute. Hold hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, dude, this is from the freaking darkest set. Is all the darkest set. In oh, no way. If all the darkest set is in here, that's rare. These are rare. Because there's the darkest translucent evolution set. Like, I got the pirates translucent evolution set that I know a lot of people, like, um, saw that video. But this is from the darkest one, which the darkest one's even more rare. And those two sets are the only way you can get the original hydronoid. If there's a single-headed hydronoid in here and it's darkest... Wow, that's, that's valuable. That's an anime Bakugan, and it would be the rarest one. All right. Yeah, dude, let's see what we got here. Um, yo, we got Darkest Prey is Diablo. So um, some of them have, like, two heads that change, you know, like the two different sides. But this one does not. It's only Diablo. But, yeah, Season 1. And um, the Dual Hydronoid is also from Season 1. All right, next up we have, um, let's see. I think, yeah, this is Fencer. It's just a little stuck. All right. And my dogs are going ballistic right now. Um, yeah, let's see if I can get it open. There we go. Now it popped open. But this is a fencer from season two. But yeah, it's one of the trap Bakugan that goes uh, on Helios to make Max's Helios. All right, next up we have uh, this Bakugan. I honestly don't know what this is. Um, wait, maybe it's Wilda. Um, it has like the rugged outside. Yeah, it is Wilda. Okay, sweet. So it's got to be Darkest. Um, it's Pyrus. No, dude. Dang. Jeez, dude, this is a Pyrus Wilda, except it has the black on it. You know, this is from, like, the same series as uh, the Freezer. But, yeah, that's from Season 2. Then next up, we have um, Vulcan. Whoa, it's the original Vulcan, dude. Look at this thing, man. 790Gs, hello. All right, and it is Chaos. Yo, dude, that looks so, so good. But, dude, a Vulcan, though. I don't have the OG Vulcan. That's nuts. That's Season 2. All right, next up, we have... Uh, Yo, it's Hawktor. Dark is Hawktor. Season 3. This was Shun's Bakugan in Season 3. Except it was Ventus, obviously. But, yeah. Dude, we got some good stuff in here. Um, This looks like a battle gear, I think. Um, Are there any, um... Let's see. Are there any other Bakugan that have, like, the prongs in the back? I don't know. Um, Because if they're from Season 3, then they should be good for battle gear. And that is a freaking Alpha Hydronoid. Dude, and it's got the metal ring around it. Yo, Chaos Alpha Hydronoid. 630 Gs. Pretty strong, dude. But just Alpha Hydronoid is my favorite Bakugan in Season 1. It just looks so, so cool. I also like Exedra a lot because I like all the heads on it. But yeah, okay, here we go. Next up, we have, uh, this is Rattaloid. You know, I know, like, I get the names mixed up, like Serpinoid or Rattaloid or such. But this is Rattaloid. I've learned, I promise, but yeah. Um, Rattaloid, Darkest Rattaloid. Looks really cool. It only has, like, the head and such that comes out, but still, really awesome Bakugan. 630 Gs. I liked it, like, when they were more balanced, like, you know, like, G-power-wise. But then, like, towards the end of the series, like, some of the Bakugan were becoming crazy strong, and you just had to get the new Bakugan, because, like, if not, then, yeah. But, I mean, that's how it goes with all series. But, yeah. Uh, Chaos Phosphos, and then Phosphos, it's from Season 3, but it has this button on the back, so, like, when you press it, um, let's see if it, there we go. Boom. It'll open up and all the heads will pop out. That's one cool thing about Phosphos. But yeah, since this is from season three, I can actually put this on here. This is a uh, battle gear. So what it does is it goes to the back of a Bakugan, mainly season three Bakugan, and it opens up just like that, dude. It's really, really cool. Now this one, um, this is the one that goes on Aquamos, Marucho's Bay, uh, Bakugan. Sorry, I said Bay. I, I do a lot of Beyblade stuff, but it goes on Marucho's Bakugan, um, in season three. 
and it just looks so cool, dude. It's huge. <laughs> but yeah, this is one I didn't have before. But yeah, man, a lot of these Bakugan I didn't have before, or I had them in different attributes. But yeah, and this is, uh, yo, it is Viper Helios. This is the first Helios, dude. So yeah, it looks so awesome. 730 Gs, and it's Aquas with the red on it. It looks so awesome, man. That looks so sick. All right, next up, we've got this bad boy right here. Is this Altair? Um, yeah, this is Altair. Wired's the part that goes on the back because they combine, you know, um, Altair and Wired to make, like, this really strong Bakugan. It's around the time, like, the mechanical Bakugan. But, yeah, Season 2. Yeah, man, Rattaloid Season 1, Viper Helios Season 2. Um, you know, I'm trying to keep up with all of the seasons as well. This is a tripod uh, trap. What one is it? Tripod, uh, I think this is Tripod Epsilon. Yeah. So, like, yeah, it's got the frog head in there. So, it's Tripod Epsilon or Theta, one of the two. But, yeah. Um, and wow, they disconnected a little bit. Like, it swings up. It's like they switched the quality of the Bakugan, depending on, like, where they were made in the world. Because, like, I know Spin Master Bakugan did not do this. But yeah, dude, that's so cool, though. That is really, really cool. Just, like, you get Bakugan from different areas of the world, and it's like they just act differently or they're made differently. Like, the quality of the plastic and everything. Like, these are Russian Bakugan, huh? But yeah, this is Percival, dude. It's a translucent Aquas Percival. It's gotta be Aquas. If it's Ventus or something, that'd be crazy. But yeah, um, I think it's Aquas. Is, is there the attribute somewhere? Or does it not have one on it? What? Well, oh, it's on the front. I'm, I'm a derp. It's fine. Yeah, it is Aquas. Okay, I got way too light for no reason. But yeah, um, what does that say? 550 Gs? Okay, that's pretty decent. All right. Only a few more left. Next up, we've got... Uh, this bad boy right here. Yo, this is Myriad Hades. I don't have one of these. So there's Hades, like one of the mechanical Bakugan in season two. And they had different versions of it. Like, well, they had Hades and then there's Myriad Hades. I don't know if there are any other ones that they really did. But yeah, these were the two main ones. Well, Turbine Hades that actually spins. But yeah, dude, it spins like a Beyblade. But this is cool. Myriad Hades. So the two heads on the side, but then the big head at the top. And it's more curved and such, you know. But yeah, looks more like, I don't know. Like, it looks like bone, sort of, just the way that, like, its neck is, you know, that makes sense. But, yeah, overall, it looks so, so cool. And this is Ventus! It's this orange color, but it's Ventus. They do that, like, you can't really predict everything <laughs> with the Bakugan, dude. It's just so, so cool. All right, next up we have, uh, uh, this is Dual Elfin. And it has, like, the wheel, so, like, as it goes, it can switch, like, the G-powered such, um... But yeah, I think it just depends on like where it lands. So it can switch the attributes and the G power, which is really crazy, dude. That's so cool. But 760 is what it's on right now. And I don't know what the other ones would be, like what it switch anymore. Uh, yeah, 550 and Chaos, dude. Yeah, there's so many different attributes. That's really cool, dude. All right, next up we have this. The original Elfin, dude. Dang, all right. Well, in sequence, Aquas Elfin. This is an anime Bakugan. Maruto's Bakugan in season two. So, yeah, Dual Elfin actually wasn't in the show. It was, like, uh, Minx Elfin, but, yeah, they made Dual Elfin as a version for, like, the for the video game that came out, uh, Defenders of the Core, which I've beaten that so many times, dude. It's crazy. But, yeah, um, this is quite a haul of Bakugan, dude. Got some pretty pretty rare stuff in here. All right, now we got, uh, this looks like a trap, I think. Um, is this Hexados? I'm pretty sure it's Hexados. Um, let's see, where's the, where the Hex the Magnet? Uh, there we go. Boom. All right, yep, this is Hexados, and I believe, like, whatever parts stay on the card, you get a bonus for them, you know, for, like, the trap. So, like, it would be Pyrus and Chaos. Yeah, so it would get a Pyrus boost and a... Which is really cool, but yeah, man, all right, next up, we've got, let's see. Um, this looks like it's missing a part from it. Maybe it is, maybe it's not, I don't know, but yeah. Um, yo, oh, dude, another Myriad Hades, and this one's Ventus. Dang, dude, and it's got, like, a smoky pattern around it. This was an actual thing. Just a different quality. Let's, oh, it's just crazy seeing quality of Bakugan from around the world. All right, next up we have, yo, this is Line Hall, Ventus Line Hall. I pulled like a few Line Halls from like, they had this like, it was sort of like a pack of Bakugan, except it comes with one random Bakugan. You don't know what's in it and you won't know until you open it. And that's where I got like a Line Hall from. I got like a translucent Ventus one from that and it was really cool. But yeah, I just love how like different all the Bakugan are. That's one thing that's really sick. But yeah, yo, Alpha Hydronoid, oh snap, it's the translucent one too, it's from the translucent set. Yo, the other Hydronoid. 
you. Oh my god! No way! Dude, 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 dude. Okay, okay, okay. This is Alpha Hydronoid, obviously, like, uh, favorite Bakugan from season one. Just so, so awesome, dude. And, and yeah, it just looks so great with the translucent colors. And like I said, I'll, I'll explain why I'm freaking out, because I think this is it. I'm saving that for last, definitely, then. All right. Well, next up, I'll do this Bakugan. All right, so... This is uh, Aqua's Snap Zoid. So this is a Season 3 Bakugan, a Gundalian Bakugan. These obviously, like, open up in their claws and such. But one cool thing is, like, you push on its neck, and as a head that retracts out. You know, it's sort of like a second mouth and such, you know. But, yeah, man, it's sort of like an alien Bakugan, obviously. Um, which is so cool. That's from Season 3. And then next up, we have a Translucent... Yeah, my phone stopped for a second, but a translucent Helix Dragonoid, dude. Dang, what's the power level? 900 Gs, I have this same one, dude. But dang, it's just so, so cool. Like, the clear Bakugan, you could choose any, like, attribute from the card, you know. So it would be 100 for this, and it would be 1,000 Gs. That's some serious power, dude. But yeah, this clear Helix Drago looks so awesome, man. Just a clear Bakugan, any clear Bakugan is just amazing. But yeah, so now I'm getting to this. Okay, I know I flipped out about this because I didn't even know this was in here, dude. The very last Bakugan, it's honestly fitting that this is the last Bakugan. So, um, I did make a video before and I got to get my white and just like focus it more. I did make a video before on like the rarest Bakugan in that case. And a lot of people were like, oh man, well, um... You know, like, this isn't the rarest Bakugan. Like, yeah, the single-headed Hydronoid's really rare, but there are other Bakugan, like, obviously other versions. Like, I know there's a gold Bakugan out there that's worth a lot of money. But I mean, like, in the context of, like, a single Bakugan, like, made. You know, like, obviously, like, Helios, MK2. I'd say, like, some of the rarest ones are, like, uh, Blast Elico, uh, Minx Elfin, uh, you know, Helios, MK2. All the Bakugan that came from that set, like, you know, uh, Master Ingram, Cross Dragonoid. They're all rare because they only come in that set, you know. So, like, they're definitely up there as well. Um, but in the context of this, like, they never made this Bakugan in Japan. And this is, like, from the original show. And it's, like, an original Bakugan. But they never made it in Japan. Only it was made in Has... Like, under... Not Hasbro. Um, Spin Master, uh, who was the U.S. company for Bakugan. Um, and they only put in the Pirate's Translucent Evolution Pack and the Darkest Translucent Evolution Pack. And this actually had the Darkest Translucent Evolution Pack in it. Like, all of it. So this Hydronoid is from that pack. Um, this, yeah, that Alpha Hydronoid is from that pack. This Dual Hydronoid is from that pack. And so is this Hydronoid. This is the darkest single-headed Hydronoid, dude. So... Yeah, dude, look at it! Oh my god! Yeah, this thing is so rare. I mean it in the context, like, this is, hands down, the rarest Am American Bakugan. Like, for sure. Like, under Spin Master and such. Like, it is. Because, like I said, they didn't make it under Sega Toys. Only two were made, you know, two different ways to get it. The Pirate's version of this and the Darkest version. And with this, I have both. And this is the Darkest version, dude. I never thought I'd be holding this freaking Bakugan in my hand. The darkest single-headed Hydronoid. Look at this bad boy. Okay, you can obviously like put the horn out and stuff. Hydronoid was so so cool in the show. How strong is it? Um, that's 500 Gs. Okay, but still, like this thing is extremely rare, dude. It's just so so cool, dude. And I can't believe I actually got this. This goes for a lot, a lot of money. Like, it's valuable. It's that valuable. I know a lot of people are like, yo, like, I used to have that one that I gave it to a friend. Well, like, people might not have realized that it would be this rare back then in the day. But, like, it is. It is that rare. So, if you held on to this, definitely, like, props to you. And I wouldn't let it go. Um, because it's very valuable. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah dude it's just so so awesome man the darkest single headed hydronoid definitely like the biggest pull in here like there's some rare stuff in here but this is definitely the rarest like holy crap dude darkest single headed hydronoid absolutely insane dude like this this just made my Bakugan collection that much more special but yeah guys anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this epic uh, Bakugan lot unboxing um big big thank you nick like oh my goodness and you want to be a pen pal for sure dude i know you're gonna be watching this video i would love to be a pen pal i just made a new friend with this and just like this is the first package i ever got from russia so even seeing like the packaging on it i'm like holy crap dude this is insane this is this is wild but yeah anyways i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did definitely be sure to slice that like button down below let me know how i did i will be doing more bakugan videos and such um the reboot is officially confirmed to be coming out october of 2019 so that gives me a little bit of time you know to make some videos and such which i'll be making more bakugan videos 
This channel is honestly more for Beyblade because that's just how I started it. But like I did Bakugan before I did Beyblade, but I just did Bakugan before I started my actual channel. So anybody who's confused about that who's a Bakugan fan, you know, I'm going to try to do more Bakugan videos, even like just my opinions on like maybe even some characters and stuff, you know, some real deep down videos like that about Bakugan because I, I love it. Like, you know, I'm just not hyping on the train because it's coming back, but because like I love it and I collected Bakugan, I'm so glad it's coming back. But just just saying that. Um, anyways. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for epic content because I upload daily. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. And this is also the flute that he was talking about um, that he sent, um, that he talked about in the letter. This is the flute, I believe it is. Um, it was made by a craftsman. That's so cool, dude. Like, does it actually, actually like, whistle? Oh my god! Yo, this is so cool! I'm putting on my mantle for sure. Like, I have a mantle of important things in my life, and this is going there. But yeah. Anyways, guys, till next time, it's your boy, Kimbo, signing off. See you later. Thanks for watching. My Bakugan collection just got expanded that much more, and it's just crazy. It's crazy rare. But yeah, until next time, guys, stay awesome, and Bakugan brawl. I'm up out of here, man. Thanks so much for watching.